Book Tube is Louise the Big Hair Book, but lovely to see you. Hope you are well. I know it's another another new backdrop. Well, you see, I was going to record downstairs where I recorded before, but I would have had to move both the cat and my son. And I just thought, well, I'm sure I can find somewhere else in this house that I haven't filmed already. And I can show you yet another bookcase. So here we are. It's yet another bookcase. So this is the bookcase at the top of the stairs. That is where I'm sat. I'm sat at the top of the stairs. I know. How exciting. So when you come in the house, you'll now know what is at the top of the stairs. It's this bookcase. It's not a very exciting one, actually, looking at it behind you. Hmm. No, I haven't got the most exciting books on there. Um, I think they're all read. I think I've read all of them on there, apart from some of the classics I haven't read. Um, that are still there waiting for me to, to dive right into. But otherwise, I think everything else that I've read on there. But anyway, that's by the by. Parish news for today is I'd like to do a shout out. I'd like to say hello to Larissa. Larissa said, hello, I've been watching you for a while and I'd love a shout out. And I just thought, well, yes. I'd said to her, yes, I would say hello to her at some point. So hello, Larissa, I have been thinking of you. And each time I've made a video since then, I thought, must say hello to Larissa. So this time I really am. So Larissa, I dedicate this video to you. Um, if you would like a video dedicated to you please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I will do that I will dedicate a, a video for you not in the next couple because I'm going to try and record a couple today because I've I got behind what with the whole move and what have you and I've got loads of things to show you um, either books that I've read or books that I've bought or other books um, so I'm going to do a couple of videos and I'm going to upload them in uh, consecutive days so starting from today or starting from Saturday I'm going to try and upload a video uh, a day for about four or five days. <gasps> Let's see, will I manage it? I watch people do, is it Vida? Video every day in April or video every day in August. And I'm in awe of people that do that. I just think that's amazing. But, you know, part of me is like, well, do you know, I, I, I like a challenge. So I've given myself a little mini challenge. Also, while we're just chatting, just the two of us, Larissa, um, and anybody else who happens to be watching, but while it's just the two of us here, do you know of a um, readathon that's coming up that I could join in 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 June? Um, because I know there's a Mojiathon, but that's an entire month. Mojiathon readathon. And that's an entire month. And I don't really want to do that. I want to do a small, you know, like a short one. I'm not great with the 24-hour ones, but I'd be willing to give it a go. But I don't know any that are coming up. So if you know or you are doing a readathon in the next month or two, would you possibly let me know so that I can um, have a look and see if I can join in them as well? Because I just, I've seen quite a lot of, of um, TBRs and and videos over the last couple of months the last three four months and each time I've thought oh uh, you know when I've got a bit more time I'll have a go at joining one in because I just think they're brilliant and I haven't done one for ages so um I thought well my headspace is pretty good and I haven't got too much on at the moment and I'm, we're in a bit of a more more of a restful period after the last six months um it would be good to, to, to join in something like that. So if you know of anything, please let me know. That would be great. Um, other last parish notice is because it's half term, it's therefore it is the uh, a little break for everybody at, at school. We've got a week off, which is nice. We've got bank holiday on Monday and then we have the whole week. But there are lots of activities out in the in the um, the parish and the village hall is, ho is holding a teach yourself how to abseil day on Tuesday for uh, people that are new to the sport. So um, if you want to, if you're interested in that, you've always seen people come down buildings and thought, I'd love to give that, uh, give that a go, but I don't know where to start. Where do you start? So if you just pop down to the, the village hall and put your name on the sheet as you go in the door on the notice board, there's a name there. So you pop your name down on the sheet and so the instructors know. So it's teach yourself how to abseil day on Tuesday at the village hall. So exciting times indeed. So what I've got here is, well, I've got, oh, I've been wittering on again. I shall be, I shall be quicker, I promise you. Um, these are the books that I have read recently um, and I, so that you get to know that I have actually been reading books. So I went through a bit of a binge 
in April and the beginning of May, one particular author, I will admit, and you probably will know if you've watched any of my videos recently, which author that is. And yes, it is Nalini Singh. Now, I'm, somebody actually um, com commented, actually it'd be better if I could put it up there, wouldn't it? Should I do that? That's awkward. Put it there. Um, uh, yes, said that uh, she was born in Fiji but lives in New Zealand. Because I was commenta commenting on the fact that although the um, principal angel and the principal, a lot of it's set in New York, there's an awful lot that's spe spent throughout the whole world. And it's not European based, which is glorious actually, because so many of them tend to be based in either America or European that I have read recently. So it's really good to actually read something that's kind of paranormal, um, this is paranormal romance, um, or fantasy, that isn't in a type of medieval Europe or in, in America. So it's really interesting to read something where it is really global, and it, it deals with a lot of a lot more countries and continents than than just the Americas and Europe. So I really like her for that. And she was born in Fiji and lives in New Zealand at the moment. So that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm so keen on her. So this is her Guild Hunter series. So this is the current series that she's working on at the moment. And there are quite a few in the series. I have caught up to date with all of them. OK, so I'm going to show you them. I'm not going to go through them one by one. This is, hello, The Lot. So it's Angel's Blood, Archangel's Kiss, Archangel's Consort, Archangel's Blade, Archangel's Storm, Archangel's Legion, Archangel's Shadow, Archangel's Enigma and Archangel's Heart. So I have read now the entire series. So the principal characters which we are introduced to in the first one are Elena and Raphael and that's the couple in there but we get to know the people that are surround them. Um, the books, they are the principal couple and the books do come back to them through the series. So the first three which is Blood, Kiss and Consort are all about Elena and Raphael. So that's that's how it how it starts, and um, what develops with them and what have you, and then it then it does um, go on to other people, but comes back, and it's archangels and vampires and humans and hunters and all different types. It is a modern day paranormal romance set throughout the world, primarily in New York, but set throughout the world. It is quite adult. Oh yes, quite rude. But then sometimes that's what I'm wanting. So, yeah, so, for example, all the pictures, I do like all the covers and I really like this this entire series. I, so I like some more than others. Some of the couples I like more than others. I always prefer it when it goes back to um, Elena and Raphael. But I have really enjoyed the entire series. The World by the End, this is Archangel's Enigma, the, uh, the end one, which I, I finished a couple of weeks ago, which is Archangel's Heart, um, which again is an Elena and Raphael, although it's it's so many more people that you're involved with by that point, so many more angels and vampires and, and the whole society. I mean, it's, it's really quite in-depth by this point. The world is very detailed and... Um, you have to read them in order because it's a continuation. It's the story continues all the time. Um, I found this one, I really enjoyed it and it's, it's really in-depth, but it seems to have lost some of its paranormal romance and um, sexiness because it's it's more a continuation of the story and it's hard to keep the tension and the, the it, that heightened after however many books. So I think this one, it lost it. It was a fantastic story and I raced through it and I was because I was with characters that I really loved. But... Um, it was a dipper, that for me, it dipped a little bit. But still, I'm very pleased to have read all of these. So, oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. So that, so that was good. So the next, I am now completely up to date with that. Um, Archangel's Viper is coming out in September. And I will be getting it. And I will be reading it. So I really have enjoyed her series. The other series that she did, which a lot more people seem to have read... Um, looking at the comments when I mentioned Lini, uh, is her um, Psy Changeling series. So this is number one in that series, Slave to Sensation. Um, and it's romantic and sexy. 
gothic, action-packed, funny. I don't, I'm not sure how hilarious I found this. Um, this is, there is kind of, the, it says, dive into a world torn apart by a powerful race with the phenomenal powers of the mind and none of the heart. So there are the psi, so there are people that are born with these incredible um, mental powers, so uh, telekinesis or um, and the such like. And so you have those people who are all connected to a particular kind of hive mind. Um, and then you have the changelings and the changelings all have the ability to change into a particular animal. So they kind of live with the beast within them. And then there are humans. But the humans are very much kind of tertiary characters that we don't pay an awful lot of attention to. In this one, it's between the Psy and the changeling and one Psy lady and one changeling gentleman. And you can imagine what happens. OK, so again, adult paranormal romance. Um, I was I was hesitant about starting this series really because I had just gone through an entire series of hers. And I thought, well, I don't really want to get sucked into another series. I want to do some standalone. I want to do some other series. I want to do some other books. And I know what I'm like. If I start a series like this and I get into it, then I will get obsessed. You know it to be true. Um, so I was a bit kind of hesitant. However... In a weakened moment, I did order it in. And then in another weakened moment, I did I did read it. And again, it was as addicting of, as the other ones. And I flew through it and I really enjoyed it. And, and I can see that I am going to want to read the series. Um, but it wasn't so much that I, want, I immediately wanted to pick up the next book. I was kind of like, oh, right, OK. I know what's right. OK, so I enjoyed it. So I enjoyed it. Um, and we'll be picking up... Um, the rest in the series but I don't feel like I'm going to leave you know just like a whole month of them like I did with the other one but there we are so that's Slave to Sensation I read that and enjoyed that um beginning of the beginning of April have I told you I've read this I cannot remember what I've told you I've read or what I haven't told you I've read I read One Good Earl Deserves a Lover by Sarah McLean Regency Romance modern day writer regency romance um this is the second in the rules of scoundrel series featuring lady philippa marbury and cross is the um the scoundrel um i really enjoyed it she was she was a different kind of heroine she was um odd she was very intelligent she's really smart and sassy and um not just um sassy but she's really smart super smart and um I really liked it. So it was a really good, if I remember right, it feels so long ago since I read it, but I did really enjoy it and I thought it was a good one. I have got the third in the series and we'll be picking that up at some point. So that was a good romance. Let's leave romance aside now. And I read Love Murder by Soul Black. Now, this is the second in a series. I didn't realise when I bought it. I bought it thinking it was a standalone murder. And... Um, I, was, I, I mean, I was halfway through before I realised and actually... I think I looked it up on Goodreads and I thought, oh. Um, so the detective is Detective Valerie Hunt. And um, what is it? A body has been found, a woman brutally murdered. There are serial killers. They've put the, a couple that worked together. They've put the female away, but they haven't managed to catch the man. And the man seems to be starting again. And he's doing everything in his power to draw Valerie Hunt into the chase, into the hunt as it were. Um, I really enjoyed this. Again, this was a really good book. It completely read as a standalone. So if you don't want to read a, a crime series and you just want a new crime thriller, um, serial killer, detective, um, fast-paced, well-written, um, more literary than not, I would say. It had a bit more of the literary whiff about it rather than a standard crime book. Um, I can really recommend this. My only reservation, and that would stop me from going, whoa, everybody should read this, is that it, uh, Soul Black is a, oh no, what's what's his name? I do, it's actually a pseudonym for Glenn Duncan, who wrote the last War Werewolf trilogy, apparently. So I knew Soul Black was a gentleman, and he's... Um, of course, his his lead lead lady is a lady, so he's um, a gentleman writing a lady, and I felt it was a bit idolised as to what a strong woman would look like. And it's interesting that a strong woman comes across with a lot of very male characteristics, and there's an awful lot about gender in this and how. Um, men and women feel arousal and act upon arousal 
Um, so this is an adult crime, not because of, of, of rude... Well, I suppose there are some rude happenings that happen in it, but it's very much to do with kind of um, heterosexual um, male arousal and female arousal in it. And I found it too cut and dry. And this is how men react and this is how women react. And it, it was just... I, I struggled to have a gentleman... Sorry, my thing's gone. Um, I struggled... I did struggle with that because it was very much like, this is how women react. This is how women... And I thought, really? Really? I, it, feels, it feels like that's how you think women react or to the purposes of this story. But it, I, it, that was the only bit. There was a, I think it kept mentioning that. But however, I would be fascinated if anybody else has read it, whether you picked up on that as well or was it just me being in an awkward frame of mind. It could just be me being in an awkward frame of mind. Um, but I, I, I just... I am wary of gentlemen writing strong women... And actually, sounds like it's it's basically a bloke. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe I'm being too harsh. Apart from that, the whole setup of the book and everything like that, I did really enjoy. It. And it was almost like I I was really going for it and really involved in it. And yet, kind of when I put it down and and had some time away from it, these I'd get these little niggles. But then you know that's good, isn't it? It made me think about it. it made me think about stereotypical male behaviour or female behaviour and what that is and what it what it we think about. You know what how we pen we. Uh, put people in pens how we uh, categorize what male arousal or what, what would arouse a woman and how they would react and, and that kind of stuff so it was an interesting thought process I went through anyway so always always good so there we go so I still recommend it still recommend it as a standalone I won't be picking up the first one um not because it isn't good but but just because I've read the book I've read this I don't feel like I need to read a, another soul black not to say i wouldn't if it, if it was there in front of me and there we go i was hoping this was going to be a short video but not so much because i rambled on a bit but anyway anyway larissa i hope you've enjoyed it it's been lovely talking to you and to everybody else that is there too much love to everybody i've enjoyed it let's do this again <laughs>